So now we're going to go into the Gorilla Milk. The Gorilla Milk, like I said, it's a makeup name, right? But the Gorilla Milk basically consists of half of it, 50%, is made out of sprouted almond coconut milk, or it could be maybe just sprouted almond milk, right? My favorite one is sprouted almond coconut milk, so I'm going to do that one. And the other 50% is made out of green juice. And I cut it with a little bit of apple to soften it up a little bit, to make it more pleasant to drink. You don't have to do it with the apple, but it makes it really nice to drink when you do it this way. So it, it calls for one bunch of celery, one cucumber. It's got one bunch of black kale. Sometimes they call it dinosaur kale. One bunch, and one bunch of parsley, one bunch of cilantro, and, and that's it. So we're going to run this through, and then we're going to take this green juice and mix it with 50% sprouted almond coconut milk. So uh, we need somebody to run this through while I make the almond coconut milk over here. So, All right, so um, the, the green juice part is being done right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make the, the, uh, the monkey juice. The monkey juice. I know some of you have never uh, done a coconut. Open up a coconut. So I'll go ahead and do it for you. So I'm going to show you how to open up a, the young coconut. See if you can see from there. Can you all see over there? Yes. What so you're trying to do is take the husk off. Down, get it down to the, the hard shell. That's, that's your objective. So then, y then you take your blade on the bottom corner and just whack it right about here. Another one. That should be enough. And then you just kind of, hopefully. So I'll let the water just drain out for a minute. I'll uh, clean up my mess. Well, you know, I mean, you can go in there and, and take this meat out, but me, I, I like to cut it in half. And some people, like, if women cannot do this and cut it in half, they just go like this. They put it like this and get a rubber mallet, and they just tap it right here like this, and it just cuts right through like rubber. Yeah, that's the easiest thing for most, most yeah. women, you know. So when you go to take the meat out, you can get a spatula and, and, uh, or a spoon and take the meat out. And any, any wooden chips, anything, any hard surfaces, any, you don't want that. So you just kind of fillet it right off. So when I say wood chips, it's from the outer edge of the coconut. So like I said, you can do it with a spatula or you can do it with a spoon. Take the meat out. So that's a wood chip there. Yeah. Okay, so you see how I put some coconut meat, coconut water, and um, so these almonds have already been soaked for 24 hours in, in pure water, pure alkaline structural water. So I'm going to add a cup of almonds in there, and then, because since I have, since I have some extra coconut meat in here, I'm going to make it a little richer. I like, I like uh, almond coconut milk, so, okay, so we have a little... Cinnamon here, just a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to put a couple pinches of Him Himalayan salt. So I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of Life Essentials. Remember that whole food protein complex? Easy to digest. This is very rich in tocotrienols, tocopherols. Very rich in those natu that natural vitamin E. So this in itself is really good to use it to enhance the nutritional value of your smoothies, your dressings, your yogurts, whatever. But it's great to help. This is really great for your brain. It's great for healthy skin, hair. Great for the, the regenerating the liver. 
So good stuff. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons, right? <coughs> and um, a little coconut water. If you don't have coconut water, you can just use pure alkaline structured water, it's fine. And if you don't have, if you don't have uh, a Kagan machine, I wouldn't get any other units. Get the Kagan, because that's the highest uh, quality um, ionizer out there. It's a medical grade device. But next to that is use uh, mountain spring water. You know, you can get it in, at, at the health store if you need to. So depending on how rich you want to make your milk, in this case I want to make it a little lighter than it was. So I'm going to do a double strain. I'm going to strain it through my the strainer here. You can either do it with your hand like this or you can use something like this and do it like that. And you may be asking the question after this like what do you do with the pulp, right? So you can take so whatever you have left over pulp-wise, if you want to have a little, if you want to rinse out this bowl, I'll put the pulp in there and you can make something with it later. When I was a kid, I used to drink a lot of milk. I saw the commercials where it said, drink your milk, right? So I drank a lot of it. I, I must have drank three quarts a day, sometimes four, thinking I was doing a good thing, thinking it was good for me. But later on it caught up with me, and then I ended up with congestion, sinus congestion, sinus infections, chronic asthma. You know. But when I learned how to make sprouted milk and sprouted almond coconut milk and other milks, I, it was easy to get off the cow milk after that, for sure. I used to like, I used to actually like drinking milk. I like I might like to make smoothies with it. I used to, you know, eat cereal with it and stuff. But this milk here, in fact, I want, before I make it into gorilla milk, I actually want to uh, give you a taste of it by itself. Yeah, I would like everybody to have just a little smidge of the green juice so they can taste the, the green juice by itself. And then, and then have you taste the, the milk by itself and then, and then have you have the gorilla milk. Here we go. I don't know how much you know about coconut water, but it's very high in electrolytes. And so I had a friend of mine, he was, wanted to do a, a cleansing. So he did a fast day, uh, seven day water fast, only water, just pure alkaline water for seven days. And, and he went through so much detox because he wasn't really ready for that. So, so anyway, uh, seven days later, he called me up and he said, Lou, I'm in bed, I can't get up, I'm dying. I'm not sure if I'm going to die or live or what, but it feels like I'm dying anyway. So I'm calling you up to say if you can help me, if you can help me get through this. Because I literally cannot get out of bed. I have no energy at all. So I'm far away, so I told his parents to go over there and, and get him some coconuts like this and take, give him a, a quart of coconut water. So he drinks the coconut co water and then within an hour he's walking around, dancing, having fun, just back to normal, you know. His electro got his electrolytes back up. Okay. Are you all ready for your little sample of just almond coconut milk? Yes. Okay. <coughs> and once you have your sample, then bring the green juice and the milk back so I can put the, make gorilla milk out of that. So if you're going to drink an, a, a milk, remember now, we're the only species, we're the only species that will actually drink a milk from another animal or another species, right? We're the only ones. So in the animal kingdom, they don't do that. They're not drinking milk from other, other, you know, species. Which is interesting. 
But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you're going to drink milk from another animal, it's be- it would be better than to, to drink uh, organic uh, goat milk, fresh organic go- goat milk, because goat milk is very close to mother's milk, you know, as far as, as, far as the mo- molecular structure of the milk. The, your, the human body can actually absorb it and use it and burn it, you know, as a fuel way more and, and much more efficiently than, than cow milk. Cow milk was not designed for human consumption. So, there you go. So you tasted this one. Now you tasted this. What was it like? Great. Okay, I'm just, 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 just testing. Just checking. So now we're going 50-50. Is that half? Not half? It's more than half? Oh, okay. Let's try to be fair about it. Okay. So this is a gorilla milk. <coughs> So basically when you drink that, what are you getting? You're getting all the amino acids, fatty acids, carbohydrates, glucose. You're getting vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, chlorophyll, antioxidants. So it's like a complete liquid meal in a liquid form, right? Mm -hmm.